Today I'm going to show you a really cool trick you can do with these dry wipe whiteboard marker pens. I'm starting by taking a dinner plate and I'm using a marker pen to draw on a stick man. Now look what happens when I hold the plate under the tap and slowly dribble some water alongside of the stick man. He starts to lift off the plate and all of a sudden breaks free and floats on the water. Pretty cool, huh? I'll show you from another angle. You can see he's still partially attached to the plate, then with a bit of a wobble and a shake, he breaks free and floats on the water. You can kind of flick him around with your finger, but it is very fragile and it'll damage easily, so you do need to be careful, and I'm going to send this one to work to examine the drains. I dried my plate off, and this time I'm using the pen to draw a few different things, starting with a bat, a beetle, then I'm using this red pen and a black pen to draw a ladybird, the blue pen to draw a snail, and this butterfly. Okay, so I don't win any prizes for my drawings, but you get the idea. This time I'm adding water from a jug, then slowly shaking the plate with my hands. You can see the snail is free. There goes the butterfly. Then the bat breaks free. And the beetle. And finally the ladybird. So you can carefully move them around with your finger. Or what is really cool is you can take a drinking straw and fire them around by blowing through that. Another cool trick is to use a drop of washing up liquid. Blow them all into the middle of the plate, like this. Then watch what happens when you put a drop of soap into the middle. They rush to the edge of the plate, because the soap breaks down the surface tension of the water. This is the same principle as an experiment I demonstrated a while ago, which you can find on my YouTube channel, where I filled a plate with water, and dusted over it with some ground pepper. Then added a drop of washing up liquid to the middle. The animals we drew are so light and delicate. Look what happens when I try to pick them up. And if you rub them, they just disintegrate into almost nothing. If you wanted to do them onto something bigger than a plate, you could use a tray. Or, if you like, you can make your own tray out of tin foil. Roll it out onto a flat surface. And fold up the edges. You might want to do this outside in case it leaks. I'm going to have a boat race. So I drew two boats onto the foil. Then started adding water. Unfortunately, the sail snapped off my blue boat straight away. And my red boat started disintegrating. So I plucked them out, drew two new boats on a plate, freed them up with some water, and carefully transferred them into my water trough. 
It's great fun for kids, and they can race their boats up the tray using straws. Or use a couple of drops of washing up liquid to send them back down the other way. But this will only work once unless you change the water. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.